I was just inside the courthouse and we've had Maria Butina addressing the judge and the courtroom. She began by saying that she came to the United States to better herself and to get an education, but she understands that now she has done uh, tremendous harm. I want to read from some of the quotes we're getting from our producer, producer Jason Donner, who's inside the courtroom. She told the court, I didn't register a reference to the Foreign Agents Registration Act because I didn't know to. And this is the key section. The U.S. has always been kind to me and it's never been my intent to harm the American people, but I did just that. It has hurt me, my friends, and family, but ironically, it has harmed my attempts to improve relationships between the two countries. I feel ashamed and embarrassed for this international scandal. My reputation is ruined. I know I'm not this evil person depicted in the media, but I know my choices have caused this. We've also just heard from the judge in this case, who's really taken the government's position that Maria's crime was much more than just failing to register, that she was acting as an agent of the Russian government while she was inside the United States. The government has said this morning that Maria Butina met with the Russian ambassador on multiple occasions. Sergei Kislyak, he's a very important person in this influence operation during the 2016 campaign because of his outreach to members of the Trump campaign. What the court was told today is that Maria Butina promised the Russian ambassador that she would collect the contact information of prominent conservatives and that this information she understood would go back to the Russian government. The U.S. government has said this morning that Maria Butina was executing a plan to establish an unofficial back channel with the Russian government and that this back channel was of significant importance as well. So it wasn't just about registra registration. It was really about the issue of acting on behalf to further the interests of the Russian government. We're getting some reports from the courthouse that she has been sentenced uh, to 18 months, and that would include a uh, nine months uh, time served. But we're waiting to independently. Do we have that now? We have that independently. So 18 months, nine months uh, for time served. So Maria Butina will remain incarcerated in this country. And both sides uh, had sought to have her deported as soon as that sentence was uh, complete. Back to she you. She wanted to go home, right, Catherine? The mm -hmm. prosecutors were pushing That's for that correct. year and a half. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. The prosecution wanted 18 months. Uh, the defense wanted much less for her time served. Also, they highlighted her cooperation, the fact that she provided thousands of records and passwords voluntarily to the FBI as part of this investigation. And they said that she had always been forthright with investigators. But the judge in this case has not accepted that Maria Butina was in the United States simply to build a better relationship between the U.S. and Russia and that her enthusiasm for gun rights was genuine, that in, in effect, as the government maintained, it was part of this effort to infiltrate the NRA as well as pro prominent conservatives in this country. So 18 months, she gets credit for nine months that she's already served, and both parties had sought deportation once the sentence was complete. Thank